settled down. I just got the message. Uh, uh, thank you so much. Good morning, everyone. I just got the message that uh, Vidya may not be able to join. She had a family challenge. She had to go to Madras from Coimbatore. So we will do the same session which we did in the session four. Sit straight as if your neck is pulled by a thread on the top. Your spine is straight. You can sit cross leg on the ground or you can sit on the chair as you may feel comfortable. And then just take a deep belly breath. Breathe from here. When you breathe in, fill up your stomach. When you breathe out, empty your stomach. You can keep your hand in the chin mudra or on the palms. Just breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. During the session, remember you keep on doing belly breathing, not the shallow breathing from your chest. Breathe in. Fill up your belly as much as you can. And when you breathe out, empty your belly completely. Breathe in. Breathe out. While doing this breathing, you can stretch your hand forward in front of you. Open all your fingers and make a fist. Open your fingers, open your fist. Extend your head outward in such a way that it is stretched completely. When you, this time you open your fingers, you close your thumb inside your palm, make a fist and start rotating your hand. And while rotating this hand, take the hand backward. Take the hand backward. And then you bring your reverse movement. In the reverse movement, bring the hand forward. You keep your hand down on One second, I'm just doing a small adjustment on my screen. Okay. Sorry. Now you take both your hands forward. You can see me, right? And now you can take your hand, put them on the knees. Sorry. Take your hand forward, interlock them. Look from outside. And you can put the hand slowly, slowly above them without bending them. Again, you go left foot, turn left. Keep breathing yogic breath, deep belly breath here. And turn to the center. And we'll go to the other side. Come to the center. And this time you will look up. Slowly, slowly bring your hand to the right. I'm sure something happening here, right? Okay. Now take your right hand, put it on the left knees. This is where it will twist on the back. And our left hand, you put it behind your back and turn, look over your left shoulder. We are twisting our internal organs. 
When you twist, keep looking on your left shoulder as far as you can and continue to breathe. Slowly bring your left hand to your left knees and right to the hand straight. And then we'll do the other way. Take left knees to the right, left hand to the right knee and bend back. Keep breathing from your belly. Come back to the normal position, sitting position, both hand to your respective head. Now what we are going to do is, we are going to move your head. Be very gentle to your neck muscles. So here you bend your head forward. And then slowly, one muscle at a time, push, turn towards your left. Very slowly, very gently. Keep going up, look up. Now you're looking backward. Your neck muscles are stretched in the back. From there, we will go to the right. Slowly go to the right. Come back to the front of the face, bend backward. And now we will do reverse. We'll go from here to the right. Right. Back, go to the left. The left, we will go forward. So these four exercises, they activate our secondary respiratory muscles. So we are reactive, which we normally don't use in our day-to-day -day life. So that is the good beginning for the pranayama. We call it four micro exercises. Then we will do first pranayama. We will do bhastrika pranayama. Raise your hand slowly while breathing in. When you breathe in slowly, breathe out. Fast by forcing on exhale. Exhale. We'll do two rounds of eight. Second. Third. Breathe in four. Breathe in when you're putting it slowly. And quickly. Five. Six. Ten. Sorry, I did it more than eight. Take a breathe here. Take a belly breathe. When you take a break between the two pranayamas, try to see the energy, how it is flowing in your body. This is the second round of eight. I have not mentioned one thing which I wanted to tell you. Emotions in our bodies are stored in different organs. In lungs, we store our unresolved conflict, grief, and sadness. So when we do Bhastrika, we throw out unresolved grief, sadness. And that is why this Bhastrika is very cleansing on emotional level as well. Now we do Kapal Bharti, two rounds of 108. Here the focus is on exhale. We will do two rounds of 108. Every time we just exhale like this. And when we are exhaling, inhale will happen automatically and we'll do short inhale. So first we sit, take a breath in 
and do whatever you can. If you can't do 108, it is okay. But I will just try to continue 108. Start. I will keep a count. You can also put your fingers on this if you like. Sorry. I When you finish, you just bend forward. It will empty your lungs and stomach. You will exhale while bending forward. Then you inhale when you're sitting back. Take a deep breath again. This will be our cleaning up our internal organ, whatever glass of water we drank in the, before we started this. It will shake up and clean up our GI tract. We'll do the second round of Kapal Bhati and make sure that force is happening from your diaphragm so that it is massaging your liver on the right, spleen on the left and pancreas in the middle. That's two second round. Bend forward and empty your stomach and lungs. Exhale out. When we sit, we inhale. This exercise is so good for internal digestive organ. It cleans out everything in the morning. And we will stimulate our all gut organs. Now we will do anulom vilom. Two rounds of eight. We'll put our fingers, index finger and middle finger, in the heart chakra point, like this, so that we can use this finger to close our right nostril and left nostril, right nostril, left nostril, right nostril. That left hand can be in chin mudra on your left, and we will block the right nostril. We will breathe in from the left nostril. We'll close both the nostril, hold it there, and then we will release from the left nostril. Now breathe in from the left nostril. We hold both the nostrils close. We release from the left nostril. That is one and low below. Second time, left nostril breathe in. Hold both nostrils, release from the right. Breathe in from the right. Close both nostrils, breathe in from the left. Third, breathe in left. Close both nostrils. Breathe in from the right. Breathe in from the right. Close both nostrils. 
Breathe in from the left. Nelson and Gail, if you can raise your hand, it will open up the lungs. Close both nostrils. Breathe out from the right. Breathe in right. Close both nostrils. Breathe in from the left. Five. Breathe in from the left. Close both nostrils. Breathe in from the right. Breathe in from the right. Close both nostrils. Breathe in from the left. Breathe in left. Close both nostrils. Breathe in from the right. Breathe in right. Close both. Breathe in from the left. Breathe in left. Close both. Breathe in from the right. Breathe in right. Close both nostrils. Breathe in left. Last one. Breathe in left. Hold both nostrils. Breathe in from the right. Breathe in right. Hold both nostrils. Breathe in from the left. Is the breathe in, belly, breathe out. Take a couple of breathing breaths in, breathe out. This is a very good. Anytime you have anxiety, worries, fear, or you're upset emotionally, you're upset. It will balance out your Chandra Nadi and Surya Nadi and sympathetic and parasympathetic system, and it'll bring down your anxiety or fear, anything which is bothering you mentally. Mentally soothing. It's the best pranayama for vata dosha. I Means space and air elementary factors out of balance. Now we will do agni sar. Agni sar. Our force is we will bend forward. We will bend forward. Empty our air from our lung. We think we have emptied. We empty more. We empty more. Empty more. Empty more. And when we have emptied the lung and stomach completely, we hold our breath here. We hold our breath here. And we we pump our diaphragm as if we are breathing without any breath. Like it is. And eight times you do that and then you breathe in. So this way we are forcing our diaphragm to really squeeze whatever toxin is holding in our internal visceral organs. Okay. Take a deep breath. We'll do the second round of eight times. We'll pump our diaphragm while holding the breath. We'll do again second time. Bend forward. Empty your stomach completely. Empty your lungs completely. Empty, empty, empty. And then you hold your breath. Come forward. Back straight position. And you... This will help you to increase your appetite and cleaning out by exercising your diaphragm and visceral organ, which we normally don't use. This is very good for abdominal muscles also. Beside respiratory muscles, very good abdominal muscles, which we normally do any, any exercise. So this is the exercise which is very good. So we did two rounds of four pranayama which are all cleansing pranayama. They clean our body. They clean our channel, physical channel, as well as energy channel. Now we will do one round of Brahmari. Brahmari, you know, we will keep the middle finger and ring fingers on your nose and our thumbs on your ear, closing the ear bone triangle, closing it completely so that we can't hear it. Both the hands and we'll breathe in yogic breath and then we will make slow sound like... Mm, as long as we can. So that will vibrate our skull and the throat. Let's breathe in. 
and do eight rounds of one round of it at your own pace as as slow as you can Anjanaji, if you can put your camera so they can see you, then I know when you are stopped, and I can correct you in case you are doing. I hope you are enjoying. Thank you so much. So this basically is Brahmari is like a bumblebee, which stimulate all over chemical setup. You know, when our skull vibrate, pituitary and pineal gland vibrates, thyroid vibrates, which basically is a center for all the chemical system in our body, hormonal balance. So it is very good for hormonal balances. you do that any time you feel there is any imbalance in your chemicals or hormone in your body next we do is utjayi utjayi left hand is on the chin mudra on the on your left leg and right hand is going up when we are breathing in so when we go up we breathe in and then we exhale by closing our right nostril from our left nostril okay we will do one round of eight of this an idea is when we are doing this inhale we are breathing from here so that way all the mucus whatever is stuck our organs here it will get cleaned out it will not only clean out your vocal cord it will help you in better singing it make your sound sweeter over a long period of time so let's do right hand here and we take make this sound we are inhaling we are making this sound <laughs> we are inhaling so let's do one round of it <laughs> and exhale by closing the with a second <laughs> we will clean up the whole respiratory system when we do this pranayama up to this place and that way you will not have in especially during covid when if we keep our respiratory channel clean then it will not, the virus will not be able to hold a place in the mucus in the throat and respiratory system so it's very good for 
many things during winter and in general to clean your throat. Now we'll do Sheetli, which is a cooling thing. In the Sheetli, what we do is when we are inhale, we'll inhale. This is the only pranayama where we inhale from our mouth. What we do is we just twist our tongue and we suck the air in. And that air it goes in our brain and body and cools down our body completely. All the heat in the body is removed. We'll do one round of it. We tongue, breathe in. And we breathe out from our nose. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Five. Among many places, the body releases the heat and it cools down, including many people, many of us have hot liver because of our diets and lifestyle. So it takes out the heat from any organ also, which is very hot and not working or inflamed inflammation inside the body. So it takes out the heat. It is very good for reducing the inflammations as well as reducing the body heat. And if you cannot do twisting sheetly, you can do shitkari. In the shitkari, what we do is you just put our teeth like this and tongue behind the teeth and we just suck it. Same way you can do eight rounds, depending upon the, what you want to do. But you do only one, so either sheetli or shitkari. Both are listed in the document. And the last one we will do is utkit pranayama, eighth pranayama. In the utkit, we are moving our neck backward and then we will be breathing in. When we some of our lungs are full, we just say Hari Om. So when we are making this sound, our whole skull will vibrate and we are making the primordial sound. You can use any other mantra. You can say Inshallah, Bhagwan, whatever you, you believe in. Okay, so we'll say Hari Om eight times. Hari Om Hari Om Anjiriji, you can bend your neck completely when you are breathing. Hari Om Hari
See, this is very good when you have a fear of public speaking, shallow breathing, sinus congestion, general breathing problems, and improving pulmonary function. And it also improve memory and stimulate pineal and pituitary grounds and allow the release of hormones such as serotonin, melatonin, etc. and antipotent. And also the lack of faith. When we have lack of faith in ourselves, whatever we are doing or dealing with, this will improve the faith also in us. So it also activates uh, chakras, but I don't want to go there. So now we have done the pranayama. And we will do now standing exercises where we will stretch ourselves and, and work there. So make yourself comfortable. I will turn the mat on the other side so that you can see me. Okay. And I will remove the virtual background so that you can see me completely. And apologies for the little clutter in my house. Okay, so first we will stand in the in such a way that uh, we are able to stretch our feet. So our attention is on our feet. We are able to stand in such a way that we can raise our heel to the extent we can and follow your body. Don't listen to me. If your body says, no, you can't do that, come back to the ground and you can do this exercise without raising your heel. But the idea is we raise our heel and we will do the same exercise as we did by sitting, by keeping our hand posted away. And we lift our heel if we can and take our hand on the back. Hold your hands together, look at outward. And then while raising your hand, you come on your heel. If you come on a heel, stay on your heel. You can put your hand down again. Okay. So that is a complication we added. But if you feel uncomfortable, you can be on your heel touching the ground and put both the hands up in the air and go on the left. Keep breathing in your belly. Don't forget to breathe. And then come straight. And we'll go to the right. Sanjay Jasha, make your own pace, Sanjana. Whatever pace you feel comfortable. And once you are here, keep your heel on the ground if you are on the heel. And now you look backward. So one left, one right, one backward. And stay there in, by stretching your hand backward. Do one or two yogic breath. Belly breathing. And here you start bending your forward. And you do bend forward. You bring your hand in front of you. In this bend forward, make sure your head is below your heart because we want your blood to flow from your heart to your head. You can do multiple things. You can fold your hands. You can bend on the left and right side. You can say yes or no. Making sure your neck muscles is completely relaxed. You, in this position, stay as long as you can. You can raise your hand. You can take two fingers and hold the toe of your feet. You can bend your knees, whatever it is, but make sure your heart is above your head. Your head is below your heart and blood is flowing to your head. Stay there for a few minutes. You can 
you can stretch your leg another thing you can do is keep both your hand behind your calf muscle and try to pull your head between your knees you need to bend your knees bend bend your knees straighten it up stretch and but make sure your head is below your heart so that blood is flowing to your head and now slowly st- stretch your legs and hand and this time move very slowly one vertebra at a time slow the movement better your body is engaged and you can bring your hand up slowly one vertebra at a time as slow as you can more slow you do more effective is this and then we will go slowly slowly and we will bend backward i can bring your hand on the side okay Janji, you have any question? Just watching you how you did the whole thing. Got it. Basically, I will do it one more time just to show you. Sure. And if other people wants to join, they can. See what we do is we put our hands folded together. We will take it out and we will just go first on top. We can keep your heel on the ground or you can raise your heel depending upon what is your body allow you. And then we turn left. we do one breathing there and then we will go to the right we'll do another breathing and then keep the heel on the ground and then we'll do backward bend and if if you want you can sp- spend one or two belly breathing in those position and then we'll go slowly forward and in the forward you can have many options you can use two fingers to touch the thumb like this stretch your back whatever you can fold your hands and go left and right right or you can take your hands below your calf and try to pull your head underneath the whole idea is while you are doing this stretching your blood is flowing from your heart to your head because your head is lower than your heart so the blood comes to your head in this position while you are stretching the back legs muscles and everything and then we'll come back to the normal position and and this is the one this way we do complete warm up of the upper body the way we did lower body when we were sitting okay okay got it okay so now we will do come to the beginning of the mat come to the beginning of the mat we'll do two rounds of surya namaskara here okay we will come to the beginning of the mat and here take your hand up in the air and then bend forward keeping both hand next to the legs and take a right leg backward look up then downward dog position the knees on the ground and chin to the mat and come to the cobra position then downward dog position bring left leg forward look up and right leg forward and now so this is half surya namaskar on the right hand side we will do the left side surya namaskar hand up in the air and next to the feet this time we we'll take left foot backward look up and then right foot forward knees to the ground chin to the floor and cobra position then down downward dog 
right foot forward both left foot forward and straight any question anybody we'll do the second hands up in the air both the hands next to the feet on the ground now right leg goes forward we look up left foot goes behind knees on the mat chin slowly going onto the floor in cobra position and then downward dog left foot forward look up right foot forward and slowly go both the hands up in the air back and to the heart position now we'll do second round on the left hand side both hand up in the air now both hand next to the legs on the ground now we'll take left foot backward look up right foot backward downward dog position put the knees on the ground now chin touching your floor mat and cobra position then go down to the cobra position downward dog right leg forward look up left foot forward both hand up in the air and to your heart position so anjana ali this is like i know mean, this is the first time you coming so this is a simple surya namaskara we do you can do it as many time as you want depending upon your body but uh, this is a complete asana we do that right now we can stand sideways where our right leg goes behind and left leg forward now i will bend my knees in such a way it doesn't go above my heel if it should not be forward just 90 degrees my left feet is turned 45 degree in the warrior position right so this is like this bent here and keep your hands straight while keeping a hand stage my whichever knees is bent that hand i can pull forward and my other leg is straight on the ground right in this position i will turn i will straight up this leg and take my this hand below while raising the other hand up in the air keep breathing from your belly slowly come back up and now i will change my position to this side other side leg and i will bend that other knee okay keep breathing from the belly straighten this knees and take this hand down and by looking up on your other hand keep breathing from your belly which is very difficult to do because we start doing shallow breathing in these stages come back to the normal position and sit on your legs
I'm already sweating. Okay, so now what we do is we will do a little different thing today. You keep your hands in your heart position and spread your legs. And we are going to sit on our hips here. Like, you know, just open your legs and we'll sit in the malasana. So slowly bend your knees and try to come into the malasana position if you can. Follow your body. And when you have knees, you can stretch your legs by keeping the knees inside. We can sit on the ground, cross-legged. Do some breathing because you have stretched all your body muscles. And now I will lie down, keeping the head in the back. When you lie down or move, every time you move very slowly your back bones and vertebra. This time, we are going to keep our left legs up in the air as if we are sitting in the chair in the lying down position. And take both your hand on the side, palm facing up. So we will do lying down twisting where our both the legs will go on the right hand side to the ground and our head will turn to the left. So this way it will twist our inner core. So both the legs on the right and your head is on the left. And while doing that, keep breathing from your belly. Try to do deep belly breathing in this position. It is twisting your abdominal muscles. Now you lift both your legs and then bring it in the middle. And now we go to the left hand side by looking at the right. Keep breathing from the belly. You can feel the twist on your side, abdominal area, middle portion of your body. Bring both your leg straight and straighten it on. Now we will prepare ourselves for the bridge pose. In the bridge pose, we will bring both the heels closer to our hip. We'll bring both the heels closer to our hip. Our hands can be on the side of the hip and uh, we will lift our buttocks slowly, slowly, one vertebra at a time in a bridge pose. And another thing we can do is we can club both our hands, make it a fist and push our hips from the bottom using that fist so that we can go more further our pelvic area can rise further. Pelvic area is a site for vata. <clears throat> and this is a very good asana if your vata, anxiety, or any nervousness is high. It can help reduce vata dosha, which is space and air element. So use your fist, bottom of your hip, to push your pelvic region as high as possible. and keep breathing over there. Take another deep breath while holding the pelvic area up. Move your hands on the side and bring one vertebra at a time, slowly, slowly down. Slowly bring it down. 
let's do this one more time at your own pace bring your pelvic area up by lifting your buttocks slowly bring it up club your hands together below your buttock and push it further down so that your pelvic area go up you can keep your hands there by pushing or you can keep your hands to the side Don't forget to breathe. Keep breathing belly. Breathing here. Slowly bring it down. One more trip at a time. Bring it down. Lie down. And touch the floor. Another thing we do here is we're going to do a boat pose. Boat pose. While lying down there, just take one or two breath first. What we do in this is we lift our legs up in the air, straight leg up in the air. You can you can rotate on the side to ankles while you're doing that. Okay, and then you lift your head in such a way that you can keep your hands. Up in there, I'll go to the side pose to show you. You can bring your hands on the side pose. Guys, my power has gone down. I'm sorry. So I apologize. Uh, you can sit in the meditation position and continue. I don't have a power, which is very unusual in US. So I am very, very sorry. But thank you so much for you guys joining. And uh, I, I will continue next Sunday. And uh, thank and, you so much. Uh, and I'll send you my email. Uh, do you? Uh, so basically, should I send it to here or? I'm in Philadelphia, outside Philadelphia. Okay. And Vidya joins me from Poem Tour, India. She's uh, working in the Ayurvedic Hospital. So you can uh, send me the, Anjana, you can send me the email soon. Let's watch dot US. And if you have my number, do you have my number? Uh, no, I don't have your number. Can I just send you here or no? Do you think it will you work? You can send it to me here on the chat. Okay, let me do that right now. So this way you have it. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And I'm so sorry about guys. This this is un, un, unbelievable, but it happened. Uh, Anjan, give me your number. Uh, my number is 860. Okay. 377 Seven six. Thank you, Gail. Thank you, Anjan. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Thank you. You continue with your meditation and shavasana, and we will connect okay. next week. Okay. okay. Thank you all. Bye bye.